Astronomers have found a nearby superplanet, an exoplanet that may be capable of supporting life as we know it. An international group of astronomers discovered the planet using NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite, about 31 light years from the Earth, according to a statement by NASA. And what I mean by one light year is the distance light travels in a year. And this is about 6 trillion miles or 10 trillion kilometers. The exoplanet named GJ357D is believed to be around twice the size of the Earth and six times Earth's mass, located in the outer edge of its host star. Scientists believe that this super-Earth could have a water on its surface. If the planet has a dense atmosphere, which will take future studies to determine, it could trap enough heat to warm the planet and allow liquid water on its surface. The potentially habitable planet and two neighboring worlds beside him were found orbiting around a dwarf star around a third the size and mass of our own sun and 40% cooler than our sun. TESS noticed that the light coming from this small star dims slightly every 3.9 days and this is a clue that an exoplanet may be transiting its face. The planet GJ357b, a hot Earth that orbits 11 times closer to its host star than Mercury does to the Sun, and likely has a surface temperature of around 490 degrees Fahrenheit, and this is equivalent of 254 degrees Celsius. Further observations showed that GJ357d orbits its star every 55.7 days at a distance of around a fifth of Earth's distance from the Sun and could have Earth-like condition, according to a statement from Cornell University. We built first models of what this new world could be like. Jack Madden, doctoral candidate at Cornell and co-author of the study, said in a statement. Just knowing that liquid water can exist on the surface of this planet motivates scientists to find ways of detecting signs of life on this planet. The other planet in the system, GJ357c, is at least 3.4 times more massive than the Earth and orbits the star every 9.1 days. GJ357c probably has a surface temperature around 260 Fahrenheit, which is the equivalent of 127 Celsius. The team hopes to soon be able to look for signs of life on the exoplanets with the future telescopes. So what do you think? Do you think is there any life on these exoplanets? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching.